Aquarius. It is time for your mid-October to November rate of this current year. Huzzah. How much? Oh, yeah. I still got plenty of time. Okay. I got you and Pisces next, right? So check this out. This is the Dark Moon Oracle deck, right? They are big fat cards with big weird things in it, huh? I want three more of them. That's what they're there for, man. <laughs> so we're shuffling these. Aquarius. This reading's for a Sun, a Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you a good deal, if not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Beep your nose and away it goes. Away it goes. If you want a personal reading after this, my info is in the description box below. It's after my list for channels I use for Breck. For Breck. If I could talk today. Thank you. For background music. Newcomers, first readings on the house and everything else comes with the price. And I do accept tips and donations. Okay. Aquarius, your card. Anger and Chains. This is actually the first card I picked up um, when I first got the cards and like um, shuffled them. I picked it out. I was just like, ooh, you're good. Yes, you will be a delightful add to my very, very limited and staying limited collection. Hmm. I like that card. Let's see. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Anger and chain. One second. I need parchment. Then I'm eating like an oatmeal cream pie that I got from Walmart earlier. Okay. The moon phase is a waning crescent, and this stage is anger. It's like the uh, stages of. The five stages of death or grief. It's denial, bargaining, anger, sadness or grief, and then acceptance. That shit, right? So this is the anger stage. Force channeled outside, unreasonable, undirected, but powerful. The visual seed, lions and sparks and chains and signs and lines all metal together. I was really hoping it was gonna say, oh my, at some point. And like, this thing has fuck a couple times and different things, but it didn't have that. Oh my god, what a wasted opportunity. Geometry and colors like an explosion. Sentence, I got, I've got to break free. I want to be free. Going dark, anger is not the road to clarity. It is not, it's not a controlled effort or a cold dish. It is raw, primal, explosive. It is the loss of reason, the loss of restraint. That's not necessarily true, but whatever. Um, a bomb burning bright in black color. A wax seal carefully crafted to be immediately broken. But anger is also freedom. How can you break... How can you break a single thread woven with a million others? How can you unfetter yourself from a bad situation, letting all the rest unchange? It doesn't work like that. You need to break free. You need to shake and shout. And more things will be broken than just what you want to hurt. They are like a bundle. You can target, but you cannot choose. Break many to break one. Save one to save many. That's yours, Aquarius. That's your vibration. Then we will go on for the rest of them, right? Right. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. And we have the two of cups right here. Below there was some security fashion. Hmm. Aquarius, if you're a female, something you might be coming to you, but you might be securing his death. That's funny. <laughs> the 
It's actually rather funny. I don't know why, but it's funny. Let's see. We got the tower and the thoughts and feelings. Something might have collapsed. And root of that. Yeah, it could have been family. Let's see. What's coming up next for you? Nine of Wands. You might want to be free of somebody anyway for a while. So I'm not surprised this is popping up for y'all again. Two of Pentacles, not knowing what to do. There you are, actually communicating. Look at you go. Look at you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see. Hmm. I thought I was seeing something, but I'm not. Okay. Me and my dummy thick thighs, I swear. That's right, sir. I said dummy thick. <laughs> Alright, so this two of pentacle scenario, right? You've had a lot of patience, or you possibly have been dealing with a Sagittarius, Aquarius or Crosswalkers. Who has a knack for being really impulsive about things or just going elsewhere, like, he could be in the middle of a desert in, like, five minutes from your house and you live in Minnesota? We don't know how. But he manages this. And he comes bearing the gift of love. <clears throat> and you might be leading him to his death down here at the, uh, Four of Pentacles. So let's see how that goes. Uh, wanting to resurrect some things here. Wanting to cause a resurrection of sorts, start a family, manifest shit out of this with the magician right here. Um, but I don't think you're happy with it. This is like somebody, Aquarius, who is so attached to you that they don't know how to be secure at themselves. To the point where it just gets on your nerves and makes you a little bit bitter every time you deal with them. It's just like, you are a grown adult. You should know how to put a sock on your damn foot. Why are you coming over here telling me this shit? <laughs> it could be one of those things, really. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see. And so up top, right? <coughs> Grace, you're absolutely happy by yourself. And you treat this person like they are below you every time, every chance you get. Like this person would travel far and wide to come to you, or these, at least these people would. And you're perfectly fine by yourself, and then they come by, and you're just like, oh my god, here, give this idiot this fake pentacle. They don't, they're not gonna know the difference. It smells just like them. It came right from the toilet. It's fine. You know, you just you give them shit every time they come around. Like it, it's getting to the point where it's more and more. Um, aggressive which is probably why it's ending with you most likely communicating that you feel a little bit um bothered by the fact that they won't leave you alone i think down below you might like i think that you just decided to tell the saint michael to stop blowing his horn and just let them drop back to the earth you see this all as like a bad idea you got judgment reverse here instead and you will shoot those corpses to make sure they come the fuck out the sky. You're just like, you need to all come down now. You know, just crazy tasty kind of things you say to yourself, right? <laughs> like you're threatening people with a bow and arrow if they go anywhere close to the sky. Alright, so the thoughts and feelings. A tower. One person's already hit reality. The other person has not yet. Here you are, you're not really trying to be connected to this person or connect to them in any way, Aquarius. That's your card. Um, in fact, you you don't even care if it's fair or the right thing to do or even justify. You're just like, no, I am over this shit. I am done. That's what this tower is for. But every time you try to free yourself, this bird comes in and brings you back to the exact same place. Like a video game, like you're trying to escape from something. 
But every time you make a certain move, this bird comes in and shoots back in and puts you back at the start. Like it adopted you and thinks it's one of your babies or something. Or you're one of its babies. My apologies. And the root of this is Ten of Cups, a family setting, a happy ending. You are raggedy, and I feel like you don't want to come out of anything. You don't want to turn around because you're quite impatient. And you no, you don't care about feelings right now. In the slightest. Let's see, Aquarius. Mm. Oh, that meant to go on top. What am I doing? I'll start it again. If it shows back up, it shows back up. But we can get the same meaning elsewhere. Anyway, back up to the actual thoughts and feelings and not just the roots of them, right? Someone has no idea how to work a phone or the GPS. So they're kind of sitting there waiting to start smashing stuff. Share it reverse. Like, they're... Okay, they want to take what they think is theirs and then just leave the rest, but unfortunately... They don't know how to use a cell phone proper. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe someone's checking their phone call to look at text. Like you're collecting evidence, kind of? That's why you left the rest of the pentacles. It's just like, I don't need this text, right? I just need this particular one. That's kind of weird. Let's see. Down below, the actual roots. I get them roots. Someone feels like another person taking their kindness too much of an advantage. Like maybe you wanted to be a server of this dude. And now you're kind of regretting it. I don't know. Or someone just shoving stuff in this guy's face. Like I'm not angry anymore. Eh. You know. Starting to become like a constant uh, plague. It's like this person haunts this other one. Trying to make him fat and shit so no one else will want him. And it's just like no. Foul lizard bees demon. I don't want a baked potato. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it was. So, there we go. Anyway, nine of wands right here, Aquarius, and cross back. You're keeping guard. You're just like, this motherfucker is not coming in here. No. <laughs> I'm not, like, I, I am keeping my duty. I am keeping my guard. I'm tired. But I, I can go to bed later. You know, you might be dealing with heartbreak or you're trying to guard yourself from heartbreak. You're ready to move on to much calmer waters. And you've made the choice that the real world, world is much more interested in the world than you had in your hand. However, this two of pentacles situation where you're not entirely sure about the options... Oh, Lord, someone is bored and bitchy. Yay, that's lovely. I should name her Rebecca. <laughs> that way, when I want to yell at her, I could be like, Rebecca, what are you doing? You know, I don't know why. Like, saying someone's full name is, is just... I don't know. It's just something that our parents did, and I have to keep on the tradition. So Becky here is just all upset and doing whatever, right? Just starting random shit or whatever, but... The shit that she learned from her father is not working necessarily in the case that she was hoping for, right? With her shitty feelings, right? Because there are some secrets in the background she possibly is not aware of or even sure of. This could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, of course. Mm. Sorry, I had another bite of the cream pie. Mm. Little Debbie is so good. Uh, is this Little Debbie? I don't know, but I'm eating it, so. 
It's little Debbie Hostess. One of, one of those two bitches. I don't care. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. I love you. All right, to the star, Aquarius. In the end, you're trying to communicate or make something flow, right? Which is the, the stomp a bitch. You're, you're pretty much in that whole, like, I will dominate you, man. Or something. Or you're afraid that they're going to try to dominate you. Um, acting like they can bring this relationship from the devil's playground into the light again. Work on those um, negative traits y'all got right maybe that's what you communicate maybe you're just like you know what i'm done i'm defeated let's try to work on this shit right however a group came up and there's a lot of lack of clarity and what is and is not a tribute to peace or what is and is not an olive branch in this scenario because someone needs to escape a cell and i feel like they're done it of their own making mind you when this tower came down up here um, nobody gave it a bit of difference. Like, everybody saw it, nobody cared, but it's been exposed for so long. Why does it matter now? Why does it matter that it exposed the fact that, like, whoever had the love no longer has it? Shit's been stoned and forgotten a long, long time ago. And I think you're going to be left out in the cold by this Aquarius still. Like, it's either you or the person you're dealing with, um... No, Aquarius, I think this you. I think you actually tell this person, every time I break down and I try to work this stuff out with you, you leave me out in the cold. In fact, you lock me out of the house and then you sit in the warm fucking house wondering where I am instead of coming out and looking for me. You know, what the hell? You know I'm outside the window. I've been tapping for a fucking hour, but no. Let's just sit there and cry and pretend you don't know where I am. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, anyway, I, I that brought up a memory of something a long, long time ago that like happened to me. <laughs> it's just like I don't even know. I know what it's like to like have to deal with something like that. And it was like it, it's funny now, but it wasn't funny at the time. So anyway, up top with this <coughs> stuff, Aquarius and Cross Watchers. Yeah, none of this shit works. Or you recognize that none of it's working anyway, because you're, you're heartbroken, you want to leave, you're ready to start something new, and it's because you know that no matter how much work you put into it, it's still just going to be two popsicle sticks with googly eyes on them, connecting the two of them, that you shake. Yeah. You, you want to go have a fun time elsewhere. You want to go be happy. And also, if we're talking about dudes here... This is almost the same dude with the same hair, and it's like, he doesn't really work, he just goes out and parties with bitches all the time. So you can look at it like that, too. Down in middle, we got... Yeah, this idiot who is, um... Acting like a Becky down here. <laughs> acting like a Becky down here. Which is like a Karen, but much younger. And a lot more feistier. It is really on her social media game. Can be, right? Very much a bored individual. Very much an individual who is not, um... They don't have as much compassion for others as they do for themselves. And they'll act like a victim if they need to. In order to avoid having to feel like emotions for others. This person will come in acting like they're saving you. And that is a lie. And you know this. Something that, like, was manipulated very easily. It's like they set you up to fail and then come in to save you. Acting like, oh, I make this happen. And you're just like, I know you made it happen. Why are you telling me this nonsense? I'm going to lay one more down. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a fucking cycle. They drive you away. Then they come back acting like they're a hero when really they're not a hero. Only to manipulate the same shit into happening again. It all becomes a big circle with this person, I feel like. But in the end, you really just want them to go away. That's all, Aquarius. That's all. Very last but not least, you are tired of carrying this burden. You don't want to carry it anymore. It's just like, I'm done. I want to sleep, man. Just let me go to bed, you know. Um, this shit is really making me pissed off. It's like someone left a cup, uh, left my cup of wine with a fish in it like it was funny. 
Mm. Yeah, this is somebody who refuses to let you go, Aquarius. It's like, you could be as mean as you want to them. You really could. You could get away with it. The problem is they like that about you. I feel like that's the biggest issue that you're dealing with right now is the fact that, like, they like you for the way that, like, you do them. Or maybe they know that, like, you acting mean is your way of being, like, trying to get rid of them. And that just coaxes them to come back more. Because that means, oh, well, you'll keep giving me attention if I keep getting on your nerves. And if this is the only way I can get attention from you, well, so be it. At least I'm getting something from you, right? Like, they're using that shit against you. And you may not realize it completely, but they're finding ways to keep tethered to you. More than you know. But, Aquarius, that's the read I got for you. Yay. Okay, so if you enjoyed this, you can like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. You know, I'll appreciate it, though. Only because y'all can do shit. Anyway, um, I will see you guys later. I love your faces, and you guys have a good night. Bye-bye.